hundredth time, you will never marry my niece. And I tell you for the thousandth time that I will marry your niece and right soon, too. Never! Boys, boys, go practice under somebody else's window. Your niece, Mrs. Levi, girls of 20 are apt to keep company with fellows their own age. But you don't listen to me, and you don't know the girl. Mr. Vandergilder, she has a positive horror of flighty, brainless young men. A fine head of gray hair, she says, is worth 20 shined up with goose grease. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Levi, that's not usual. Usual? I am not wearing myself to the bone hunting up usual girls to interest you, Mr. Vandergilder. Usual indeed. Listen to me. Uh, we only know silly songs, Mrs. Malloy. That doesn't matter. If you want us to come out with you, you're going to have to sing something. <laughs> uh, Playmate, come out and play with me. <laughs> and bring your dollies three. <laughs> Climb up my apple tree. Slide down my rainbow. Slide down my cellar door. And we'll be jolly friends. Money is like manure. <laughs> it's not worth a thing unless it's spread around <laughs> encouraging young things to grow. We all want to thank you for coming out tonight. And we hope in your lives you find just the right amount of sitting quietly at home and just the right amount of... <laughs> of adventure! Yes! <laughs>